Hello YouTube, here's just a quick video on how you can switch your um, Chinese version Windows 10 um, that comes pre-installed on most um, laptops that are purchased online from the Chinese website. I recently purchased the Mi, the Xiaomi Notebook Ear 13 inch, a really powerful uh, laptop and it came with a single language pack install Chinese version and I was able to successfully um, convert it to the English Windows 10 Home Edition after doing some research. So I'm just going to give you a guide as you can see mine is already in English. I'm not going to switch it to Chinese to um, do this tutorial but you should be able to follow along if you just watch the video let's say if you have your notebook with you you can easily follow along and be able to switch yours as well. So this is just a, a legitimate way. I wanted to just keep all the original drivers that came with my laptop. So let, let's just get into it. That's that's the reason why I kept mine and I did not do the whole you know erase from BIOS and, and download all the different. I didn't want to do all that stuff. I just wanted the same you know stock switch to the English version, and that's what I was able to accomplish. So what you can do is double click from the desktop right pinch with your mouse and then you can go down to the second to last option it's going to be in Chinese writing so you'll just have to follow from the icon and from what I'm doing and you click on display settings and and how I was able to accomplish this I actually followed um, the settings from my desktop I have a desktop of Windows 10 and I was able to use that as a guide so you're going to go down to about, this is the last option on the left side of your um, window. So when you click on about, you'll get this screen. I mean, the screen looks very similar, of course, in Chinese writing. Um, there's only one thing I'll, po I'll point out after changing to the English version. The Xiaomi name still remains in Chinese. So um, I'm sure there's some other way to change it to Xiaomi, but... When I figure it out, I'll probably post another video, but I was just able to do this. I wanted to share it quickly for those who are having difficulties changing it over. So when you scroll down here, this first option right here, change product key or upgrade your edition of Windows, that's the option you want to choose. And the way that you can actually do your changes, changing it to the English version from the Chinese, once you click on that option, you, you'll see this little key icon which is to change the product key so essentially when you click that you can't see it here but I'll probably post a I'll probably post a screenshot of it but you'll see a little screen that asks for um, if you have a product key you can click yes once you do you'll get this screen now you can use one of two things based on my research you can do one of two things in order to get it registered legitimately, you know, you have to pay for anything. So what I used was an old Windows 7 that I had laying around. It was just like the I always keep old stuff, so I had the Windows 7 disk with the key on there, and I typed it in, and it worked. I clicked, I typed it in, clicked yes for to accept it, and then it started to download the new language pack English language pack and, and um, the Windows 10 software so it started to update now once you put it in and you click yes and it would actually ask you for it will ask you for a username and password or an email address rather so I actually use my email address that I have right now in my Windows 10 on my desktop so I, I put that in, you can use any other email, maybe your MSN, or you can create one specifically for that using MSN or Hotmail, one of those uh, Microsoft email addresses. So I inserted that, press continue, and it will actually take you to the Microsoft website, right? And from the Microsoft website, you'll be able to download the language pack, right? see not that Microsoft Let's see here we go right. 
so it, it will take you to the Microsoft website I'm not gonna go through all that it's, it's gonna be pretty simple but it will take you to the Microsoft website and you'll be able to download or you can click go to store or something but you'll be able to download the language pack if you need to if it doesn't automatically start might actually download it automatically once I click here and I inserted the key now once it's completed one, one other thing that you can do is go to this little icon right here it's going to be in Chinese where you would see the little arrows right there which is update and once you check update it's actually going to just download everything that you need for the laptop to be switched um, to English now from there from there what you do is go back to the desktop it will not be switched at that point but of course it's going to restart as all Windows do when you install um, new updates. When it when it goes back, when it's restarted and it goes back to the main screen, one thing you want to do now to switch it is to do Windows. And you can follow along from here. You go to this option menu, which is a little gear, and then you can go to this icon, time and language. And from here, I, I mean this is just the steps that I did. I check set time automatically. I clicked in my time zone option. You'll you'll see it. And at, at that point, you'll have um, English and, and Eastern time is going to be in there. So from there, you're going to go to the second option, which is going to still be in Chinese at that point. It's going to be regional languages, and you're going to click this option here to add language. And from here, you can actually type in. So you can type in. English, click on the English and choose your like whichever country English version you like to choose. I chose United States because that's where I am. And you can go back to this screen. Now, from here, you're going to have the English United States that I have, but at the bottom, you will probably have the Windows Chinese version. Now, once you click on the Chinese version, I'm sorry, you click on it on the United States and then you set as default. Now once it's set to default, then you can actually click on the Chinese version, which is going to be here, and click the last key, which is delete. That's going to delete the Chinese uh, language package. From there, it would actually it will actually automatically switch to English from there. Certain options are already going to be switched to English once you do that. Now, what you want to do is you can either restart at that point. It, it may ask you to, but mine did not. But once you're done, you can go back, check that some of your options are actually switched. As you can see, mine, the menu here will switch. But just certain things like some of the like at the top here, like the main group and and certain options here were actually still in Chinese. So another way that I changed it to English was to go back into that option, into regions and languages, and right here related to settings, you can go to additional dates and under region change date, time, and number format click on that and then in this administrative options you can click here copy settings so you're copying the settings um, for United States English copy settings and you're going to see some options here if there might be in the, for example here for me had input language and there was a Chinese here I want to click on it You'll be able to see like a little drop down box. You can easily switch to, you know, United States English. From there, you also want to copy these settings to your welcome screen and system accounts. Also, any new accounts that you might have created. Press OK. Press OK. And that's pretty much it. From there, that's exactly what I did. And everything else showed like this. So, what I did was I used an old Windows CD um, software installation 
that I had laying around. I had the product key on there. The product key was used, um, but it was never used to upgrade to Windows 10. So you can actually do that. From my research I, that I've seen, you can actually use the same product key that you actually... So the product key that I have on my Windows 10 desktop right now, I can use that as well. Um, you know, hopefully this helps you. You know, it certainly helped me. No extra costs. You should be fine. Um, you know, don't pay anything extra. But this this is it. I mean, I love it. I wanted to have the stock um, version of the guy that came with the laptop, and I do. And it, it's running great. I love the laptop. It, it's so powerful. The speakers are so sweet. The quality is so good. Anyways, enjoy your new Xiaomi notebook here.